But if I do it here, they lose everything. I also lose my obliterator, but I think it's worth it. And I get my shakedown heavy back. And I mean, they have no lands, so what will they do? Hello everyone, my name is Philippa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be playing Golgari Obliterator in best of one standard. And I have a friend called Chris and he plays Dungeons and Dragons with me. And when we meet often he says, Philippa, why are you playing Obliterator again in my YouTube feed? And I will play this deck until I can. It's been exactly one year since this card has been legal. It was February last year with the Phyrexia set and I still love it. I love to make my opponent sacrifice everything. It's the most evil deck that I can play and I love to do so. It also sometimes is so amazing against mono red because they literally have no way to deal with your obliterator without dealing damage and having to sacrifice permanence. So that's just Chef's kiss. Uh, I always, with the new set, do some alterations to the deck. So this is the, my most recent list. And you have two options to play this deck. You can play uh, without the fight rigging kind of aspect of it or with it. And I do play with the fight rigging just because I really like the card. And also it kind of allows you to more consistently combo off. So we have three cut downs, we have four tail swipes. Obviously this is the way that you're going to uh, do the fighting spell with the obliterator. It costs just one mana and it's instant speed. And the bigger the creature that you fight against, the best, because if obliterator takes seven damage from the creature of your opponent, they have to sacrifice seven permanents. If you, for some reason, uh, fight against a 4-4, four -four, they have to sacrifice four, four permanents and so on. I'm playing two March and this black March has one reason. It's against like more aggressive decks. I felt like sometimes I cannot get to my deadly cover-ups. I die before. Uh, so what I do is like turn three or two, you can just exile a bunch of black cards so the X of the March is bigger and you can kill a creature that is really doing a lot of damage to you and you can gain life, gaining you some time to then focus on your later game, which is the Obliterator with the Fight spell, which usually is really good against creature base decks. We have one Bitter Triumph, four Bats. Bats is really good to disrupt your opponent's hand uh, and make sure that you can fight away without them having some instant speed interaction or just to see and try to delay their plan. We have three Shieldred's Edict, one Tira Shandor. This is great, it can deal with everything. Um, it, Especially the enchantment just for two mana is amazing because if they try to leyline binding your obliterator, you can just tirish under the leyline binding or ossification. We have four shakedown heavy, and the only reason this card is in this deck is because it works amazing with the fight rigging. Because as soon as you put a counter on the heavy, your fight rigging is going to activate and you can play your Idaway card for free. Usually you want to get an obliterator if you already have a tail swipe in hand or you can get something like a board wipe if you need so or just a cruelty of geeks which is also another amazing card. We have four obliterators, we have two deadly cover-ups. This is an, a card that I wanted to experiment in this deck because although you play creatures you don't play a lot, you don't go wide in the board so you kind of can wait a bit, play your deadly cover-up and then use your uh, obliterator after. We have three cruelty of geeks. This is amazing because it allows you to either get obliterator back from the grave or even a creature from your opponent's side, like an Itali or an Atraxa, or you can just uh, search a library for the card that you need. If you already have obliterator and you need tail swipe, you can go search for it. Lens, I didn't change much much, uh, but I added four underground mortuary. These surveil lands have been amazing in standard. I really love them. The only downside is the same as Restless Kutash. It, they enter tapped, but still they are amazing lands and they are going to give us a lot of value. That's it everyone. I know we're all here for the games. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up, comment, that really helps out with YouTube algorithm. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers for so long, so if you could help out, I would really, really appreciate. I wish you all a great day and let's play some games. This is a good end. I mean, I already have the obliterator. I have some surveilling going. I can play the heavy. If I find a um, fight rigging, this is amazing. So things are not looking too bad. Let's see what they're playing. Ooh, we have the combo. I don't want the second heavy. I prefer even land than that. 
Okay, that's a bit, a bit, a bit unfortunately, but we do have the cut down to take care of Naturalist, and that should delay them quite a bit. That's fine. We might see another. Okay, that's that's actually no problemo. I do need a land very badly. Okay, that's okay. That thing is getting a bit too big and there might be something like ossification. Yeah, looks like that's exactly ossification. I'm going to take five damage quite a bit. So hopefully no more ossifications and I get lands or I can just go bitter triumph there. We did get land. Okay, let's hope there's no more ossifications. Let's see. Let's test it. I mean, two cards left. That it's okay. That's okay. No, don't be. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not like you can attack, right? I, you can, but... Do you really want to lose nine permanents? This fight is going to be crazy. Okay, I guess they do want to lose eight permanents. I'm fine with that. Choose your fighter. They need to be careful there. Okay, that's fair enough, but... I can do it here. But if I do it here, they lose everything. I also lose my Obliterator, but I think it's worth it. And I get my Shakedown Heavy back. And I mean, they have no lands, so what will they do? That's the beauty of Obliterator. And that's why I love this deck so much. Okay. I can vibe with this end. It's pretty nice. Unfortunately, a lot of top lands, but you know what? Mm. I need I need to find land situation or children's edict is great, but I cannot play it yet, so I'm just going to pass. They might do the two two. Yeah, that one. So I mean, at least my obliterator does have some potential against this deck. I must say. Ooh, that card is good and it needs to go. Non-token creature. So they have to sacrifice it. Okay, just delaying things a bit. Maybe next turn I do Bat plus Shield Edict. I mean I that's exactly what I need to do, just slowly but surely. Yeah, that thing is going to get a bit bigger. What do they discard? A land, okay. Did they already play land for the turn? No. We did find land, which is great, because I do have Obliterator plus Tail Swipe, so let's see what they are hiding. Let them suck the Raffin. Sure. If I'm lucky, they'll just play the Virtue of Loyalty. Yep, I'm lucky. Okay, so they have to start sacrificing some things. I could have waited a bit more, but if they have removal, then it would not be great for me. So let's just see. This way they have to go lower on lands. Either they sack 
three lands and just keep two, or they have to sack these for two. Okay, so they go for the lands, makes sense. Ooh, unfortunately because of these, it's going to be difficult. I'm not going to play the Kutash, I'm just going to attack. They take it, okay. I'm going to play Evi. You might see a 2-2, two -two, which I'll immediately cut down. Bye-bye. Next turn, me attacking with Kutaj and these should be enough. I mean, they can always make me draw. Okay. Down to three, which is enough to die just with my land. So even if they have a board wipe, it is not enough. And I mean, obliterated doing obliterated things once again, showing why it's the MVP. Okay. Obliterator once again. MVP. Okay, I can keep this. So the reason why I put this card is in the deck is exactly against mono red. Oh, interesting. I'm going to try to delay things a bit. Bitter Triumph is pretty good. I can just discard something. Oof, I kind of need to find my board wipe. Yeah, I want to kill that. Maybe I have to discard the... Mm. Maybe it has to be the cruelty. As much as I love it. It's way too slow. Okay, obliterated is very good here. So they don't top deck something. Okay, that's good for me. Okay, and I do have ways to gain life, which is great. I don't have a fight spell yet, but... So that gains me a bit of life. Ooh, another one. Okay. So that I can exile. Or I can just play Evie first. I know it's a bit greedy. Okay, now we're talking. I mean, it's only a couple of permanents and there is quite a lot, but... Okay, 
get another obliterator should be good i want to put it in the bat because i want to start gaining life back at nine we defeated the mono red i can keep this Oh, that's great. You know what? I'll keep the land on top. So do they steal my... Ah, okay. So this is the discovery deck. Which is a bit scary, but I do have two deadly cover-ups, which should help quite a lot. Let's take the removal. Obviously, I do have another bat. And they don't have the second black to use that grasp. So things are not looking too bad for me. Okay, so they choose not to use the Harvester's ability. Ooh, another one. I wonder if they use the blood token first. I actually go for Itali, because they want Itali in the grave. I'm not going to allow it for now. They play the mountain, they don't use the blood, which is interesting. I have to take it. Ooh, I love this cruelty of geeks. So I'll attack with both. And I'll play my obliterator. Ooh, Breach the Multiverse. That's a greedy card. So they might found removal here. Yeah, so they probably have a go for throat that they are going to use in the bot, so they get the gopher throat back. They have to wait to use it. I'm going to attack first. Unfortunately, I do have to use this. Mm, yeah, I think it's worth it. Ooh, okay. That's fair. They don't have mana to play any of that, which is good for me. So these Cruelty of Geeks just got much better. So can cannot Carnosaurus quite yet. Children is annoying. But I go for Itali. tail swipe I know that my Itali dies but that children also needs to go okay I got a couple of nice creatures cannot complain too much and I still have the deadly cover-up so whatever that gets okay that goes in end Unfortunately, I don't have Tail Swipe because it would be so good here. So I think here I can just do that. I 
I love me some cruelty of geeks. Okay, so they have to double part. What? I thought I... Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, at least I still have deadly cover up. He could be worse. No, I can still kill the bot anyway. Okay, so let's kill the bot. So this time I need to go for the deadly cover up for sure. Uh, no, for the words. I need to go for that breach now. See, they have a lot of good stuff. Okay, we're both kind of landlording, I guess. They can just double eat the heavy. Unfortunately, half of my deck are lands, which means I do need that cruelty of geeks, obliterator. I mean, they have to use it. Okay, so now we're both getting a bunch of lands. Cut down is not what I need. Okay, that's not a bad card, but I'm sure they have removal. I need maybe fire ringing would be okay. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, there's a follow up. Tail swipe. I mean, tail swipe is not that great when you don't have a creature and they also don't have a creature. Okay. I mean, it might become better. <gasps> that shield red. At least I have nothing to sacrifice. So I need to find something good. Okay, so they want to make me discard a meal. Oof, I'm just going to die. Because look at these graveyards. I mean, that was a, not a bad card to draw, but... Come on. That's just funny though. It is just so much fun. Yikes. I just want to see this unfold because this has been such a crazy game. And I just die in my upkeep, but. I just die for that. No! No! That was the best children I ever saw in my life! This is 
qui est pas bon. Ooh, it just got much better. Okay, so this is the enchantment deck. Let's see what secret side hiding. Mm, so this is three mana. They do have a lot of things going on, but no three mana yet. So I can just delay them. That's okay. Ooh, actually this deadly cover up, it is not bad at all. So no second plane yet. Hmm. Unfortunately I have to take that. I can just use Tirashender. They can copy the ability, but it doesn't matter. They do draw a card from the Audacity, but that's fine for me. Okay, the seal probably gets the heavy. Makes sense. Oh, and copies. Okay. I'm going to wait a bit to play this deadly cover up. Doesn't make sense to do it now. I can just keep my land there, because why not? I also have removal. Let's that let them commit to the board a bit. That's okay. So not bad for me, three cards remaining, I do have removal, I do have heavy, I do have a fight spell. So I like my position from now on. They probably have more removal, but not much more I can do about it. I can start attacking with my lands. Yes, ossification. Okay, let's start attacking with the lands. Mm, did they have a Kami? No. It's important to exile Kami if they have it in the grave, because Kami does return. That's okay. So I can... Mm, I actually can do even one more. So I can do for two. That way. The audacity doesn't resolve. I'm just going to keep attacking with my lands. Now I think I can do two attacks a turn. No! Guess I can't, couldn't. Doesn't really matter, but... Need one more land. Yeah, so that Calyx needs to die. That doesn't really matter right now. So what I need to do is make this a land. Because it does get a plus one plus one, my cottage doesn't die and I can already attack. And they are basically dead next turn. I mean, that's just the power. I didn't even need only to raider this one. I can keep this. 
I mean, we have the bat, we have obliterator, we have a board wipe just in case, some removal. Ooh, it's the mono red. Okay, I put this removal just because of mono red, because it later on can give me so much life. Oh, okay. So I do know that they have removal, but let them have to use it. Ooh, and the festivities is just perfect against my bot, so no way. Oh, they just go face. I am surprised. So let them sack one of those. I'll let them choose. It's going to be difficult for them to deal with my obliterator. Yeah, that thing is going to get big. Actually, should I just... Yeah, I guess I should. So I have to... Now I have to do one more. Okay, so I do three. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Okay, that end of festivities is going to be quite good against me. Okay, they did find a land. Oh, they don't even... Unfortunately, I cannot do that. We can keep buffing the Phoenix. Which not much I can do about that. Do they want to do it again? But then they cannot use the... Ooh. They want to do it again, okay. Unfortunately that cheek is getting quite cheeky. Again? Okay, that's actually not bad for me, is it? Oh, it is. It is bad for me, because I die. It is bad for me. Mm, a bit awkward, but if I do get lands, it can be really good. I mean, if I get a green land, especially. Easy. So they can be playing Dimir, they can be playing Esper. Yeah, Esper is the most popular one. I mean, this is great if they don't deal with it, of course. So ideally, ideally they play something, but they don't. Well, let's see if it resolves. They let it resolve, so probably they have an answer for my Evie. Mm, actually, I like the bot here. And I am sure they have an answer. Or not. So let's see what secret is hiding. I mean, maybe it's just the 2-1. Uh, okay, so they have Otoara that can bounce something next turn. They can steal cards from me. They have Jace, Faithful Mending. They have a lot of Jaces. I think I might just take the Mending here. 
I mean, if they do give me a card, that's actually really good for me because I do need the land. Okay, they do give me a card, but no land there. Okay, playing the Otawara. Okay, so now we do have a land. I'm going to keep attacking. Play one of my obliterators. And I know they're looking for a board wipe here with that deluge. They also need land. Let's see if they found the sunfall. Ah, the populate. Okay. To be fair, that was pretty predictable. Mm, not much I could do, unfortunately. Just play a spell a turn. I mean, if I add land, the cruelty of Geeks is amazing, but. Okay, so they start deploying the Jaces. Oh, they just go for the meal plan. They don't have any creature for me to fight with. I don't even know what this is. I think I try to get to deal the most damage possible. I mean, I have to keep them on their toes, especially because they are trying to mill me aggressively. That's okay. So they're looking for a board wipe most likely. That chase, if it enters with four, it can mill 15 cards. I have 29. And again, okay. So that delays things a bit, which is good. If I get a land, I can do Restless Cottage. That's four plus eight, 12, 13. So it's not quite enough yet. And I did not get land, but I did get another bat, which I think it's pretty good. Because if they did get a board wipe, they have the go for throat. I think it's the Reverly here, because I don't want them to gain life. Obliterator has trampled, the bats have flying, and they are down to six, so they need to find something this turn. They need to find a board wipe. That Jace is not enough. Okay, that's predictable. A bit unfortunate, but... Ooh, that's so risky. That's actually risky. And I do have an eye... Like, with the fighting ring, that's enough. Yeah, so that needs to happen. Actually, I'm not getting quite enough. Two, three. Is Jace enough? Because if that Jace minus, it can minus. That Jace can minus to. Four, that's four, so that's 15. Yeah, I think I need to go for Jace, just not to meal. That's my concern now. Because that would be 12 plus 15, that would be enough. And this way is just three plus 15, which is not enough. I mean, they need mana because they want to do Jace and copy the Jace ability, right? But for that, they need six mana. So if they found on top mana, I might be done. 
Okay, so that's not the case at least. They do take care of my board, which is not great. Oh, okay. Not using the shielded Zedic there. Okay. So I win just because I have these. Yeah. That was a close one. I thought I was going to get milled, but we we survived. That's what matters. I mean, I had so much fun. I always have fun playing Obliterator Fight. This is my favorite deck of all time. So how can you not have fun playing it? When it doesn't work, and eh, it doesn't work. But when it does, it's just so much satisfaction. Uh, I don't know if the deadly cover-ups make sense here. And <laughs> maybe the fire rigging and the heavy didn't do as much as I want them. I mean, sometimes they did. But you could also go with... A route where you don't play these three cards and you play cards like um, Shieldred, Glissa, maybe more Tirishander, maybe uh, Evolve Sleepers. So you have a lot of options with this deck. It is very, very versatile. That's why I also like it so much. But let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Bye bye!